Help is on the way for Iowa farmers who had damage from the derecho. Today, the U.S. Agriculture Secretary, Sonny Perdue, toured central Iowa. Local 5's chief political correspondent, Rachel Droz, was there and tells us that he wasn't just here touring farm damage. That's right, Secretary Sonny Perdue's first stop was in Radcliffe, Iowa. In addition to surveying some of the crops damaged by the storm, the secretary is also looking at conservation efforts underway at Iowa Farms. Iowa's been leading the effort for water quality for a long time, but this is just another example in helping to reduce the nitrogen runoff from a 1900 acre watershed. Out in rural Iowa, Thanks for coming. you'll find Stoley's Chestnut Farm and a man-made wetlands area under construction, which will help water quality and provide habitats for wildlife. Every time we invest in water quality, soil health and conservation practices, it is an investment in the next generation. The Stoley Farm and farms surrounding them sustained damage during last month's winter storm. So we didn't lose any buildings, we lost some trees, uh, but we also got some crop damage. Secretary Sonny Perdue did flyovers of Iowa today to get a look at the extensive damage across the state. Heartbreaking for the people who put their sweat and t blood and tears in a crop to produce it. Looking forward to good harvest, almost to the point there of uh, beginning a harvest and uh, and then just, just devastation. To help Iowa's ag community, Secretary Purdue announced he's approved a secretarial disaster designation for almost half of Iowa's counties. The goal? To help farmers make it through yet another tough year. I think it'll be beneficial for him to see what, uh, what these farmers are going through and some of these guys that having such a hard time with with the crop prices and ethanol problems and, and everything that's affecting us and, and they get thro this thrown on top of it. Early estimates are that roughly 10 million crop acres in Iowa were damaged by the August 10th derecho. We'll likely have a clearer picture on the full impact though in about a month when harvest begins. Reporting in Radcliffe, Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Farmers in these 42 Iowa counties can apply for the additional assistance. The money can be used for replacing essential items like equipment or livestock, reorganizing farm operations, or refinancing certain debt. The deadline to apply for the emergency loans is May 3rd of next year.